Welcome to Tattoo Tales, slinging stories about the culture and art of the tattoo world. Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. On this episode, we visit the oldest continually running tattoo shop in America and hear a few stories from both the past and present. My name's uh, Tiffany Garcia. I'm from here in Long Beach and I work at uh, Outer Limits Tattoo in Long Beach. Um, I personally have been tattooing for about 14 years. I have a special fondness for this place simply because of the history of it, being that uh, this actual location is almost considered to be sacred ground to most tattoo artists, seeing how it's the um, oldest tattoo shop um, that has been continuously running in the United States since 1927. It is like the epicenter and birthplace of like modern West Coast tattooing for the most part. Um, Lots of good things happened there over the years. Lots of traditions were preserved. People did things the right way there. I grew up with uh, stories of the pipe from my mom and my grandmother. Uh, Bert Grimm was the, the name, you know, in tattooing. And on the sign out front, it said, uh, world famous uh, Bert Grimm's, or, you know, world famous tattooing by Bert Grimm, or something like that. Um, because um, when he actually opened the shop here in 1927, there were a, a few other shops all around the area doing tattooing. So with that, it was like a, a marketing scheme. Um, and everybody's like, well, world famous, must be. And it just spread, just that simple and that easy. I started tattooing in 1986, and I started tattooing in tattoo shops in 1993. This one right here, the Jester, was done by a guy named Scully here back in like 90. And this one was done in, uh, by uh, Joe Vegas in 88. They were both out of Burke Grimes, so. I can say I'm pretty fortunate about working at the oldest tattoo shop in the world. And a lot of the other tattoo artists that are tattooing today wouldn't be tattooing had it not been for, you know, I guess you can say the, the grandfathers of, of tattooing. You know, they kind of like paved the road for uh, American tattooing. I mean, there's a lot of East Coast tattooers, but you know, it was like a Sailor Jerry, uh, Colonel Todd, and of course everybody knows uh, Lyle Tuttle and Burt Grimm. I had actually asked her where she got her first tattoo done, but that place was no longer doing tattoos. So I asked from a tattoo artist's perspective, where would you go? And they said Outer Limits. So I was like, okay, that's my spot. I just came up with something that I'm completely in love with. It. Um, has a nice story behind it. When I was a young girl, I went through a lot of problems with my family. Um, we didn't get along, to say the least. When I was in high school, I had dark periods on my own where I um, kind of got into smoking and drinking and cutting and all the bad activities that you don't want to let yourself get into. Um, but one of the major places that I used to cut was right here on my leg. and. Um, what I wanted to do was incorporate all the things that, you know, meant something to me um, in my tattoo so that I could remember what, what I did to myself, but also know that I had the strength to overcome it. So I had the phrase live, dance, love put on my leg because I used to dance. And so it stands for live like there's no tomorrow, dance like nobody's watching, and love like you've never been hurt. Um, and then that's tied in with a vine of thorns to represent the pain that I went through and cherry blossoms, which in two different cultures um, mean strength and the transitions of life. So I thought that applied pretty well. When it was about to close, uh, one of the artists that had been here for roughly about 20 years, his name is Rick Walters, and you'll find his photos throughout the shop. Um, he really didn't want to see it go either. So he kind of uh, put the word out to other known and established tattoo artists that he knew possibly could pull it off in saving this place. And so Carrie Barba is one of the people he approached about it. You know, it wasn't like she's just like, ha ha, you know, and swooped in on it. It was just, you know, she didn't really didn't want it. You know, the whole goal of opening the shop was merely to preserve the history, whether it succeeded or not, it was just not to let it just disappear. I just hope that you know, when, when I'm some crazy, crotchety old woman with more tattoos that look like nothing, that, you know, they'll say, yeah, that was that crazy old chick. She used to work it down at that pipe. Yeah.